Christian View, where we take today's hot topic, weigh them against God's Word, because God does indeed have a view. And today we're going to talk about uh, getting healthy, staying strong. But before we get into it, um, do you feel like there is an, an attack on being feminine, on girls wanting to look like girls? Is there an attack on girls today to be feminine within this quest of equality with men? Maybe yes, maybe no, but I think that we're all created different. Mm -hmm. I think we need to embrace our uniqueness. Yep. And I think some of us are more feminine, some of us are a little more, you know, Tom on the boy, strong. Yes. Yeah, then that's okay. Yeah. I don't think that's an issue. And I think we should be who we are. Yeah. I think Absolutely. girls go through it more in school now, you know, um, you know, with the the pants, the jeans, and you know, yeah. not wanting to be too girlish. I'm, I'm, I'm the girlish girl, you know. With the, I dress yeah. my girls in pink, you know. Um, I think my mom would have a fit if I didn't. But um, I'm, I, I believe in encouraging girls to be girls, you know, and right. like soft, lovely and things and dress up it. and be cute. And be yeah, proud yeah. Of but it. you know, it's, it's the change in time is culture with the young children, you know. The music they're into and the style, and they like to be a little faddish, and it doesn't. It's not the, you know, girlish. Right. Dressing, you know what I mean? It's, right. it's, it's a different I, kind of I look. I do think, though, I think that our society is trying to make it like a unisex. I think so, yeah. too. And I, and I think we have to be real careful because God, it, the Word tells us God made them male and female. Exactly. He made them. And so there is femaleness about us that we shouldn't lose because that's the way that. he made. It doesn't mean we can't do sports. It doesn't mean right. that we can't excel. But I think we have to be careful that we don't lose. Don't the, lose it. Don't lose it. And I, I, and I think that some girls are being tim intimidated to, I believe that. To, to, to go more towards maleness exactly. and, and, and swap out their femaleness for maleness. Right. And, 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 it, and you can do both. You can be a female. That, what is that, Ninja Warrior show? Yeah. The last episode, a girl won that Ninja Warrior, I think yeah. that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And, they, and so, people were so intrigued because a woman finally won. Is there anything wrong with her winning? Absolutely no, actually, not. That inspired me. I, I'll be honest with you because I love physical exercise and I love that, but that's something me uniquely that I enjoy doing. Yeah. So watching her doing that, not because she was able to do something that a man could do, but because she achieved something that she strived for. I don't know her background. I don't really know what her motivation and purpose was, yeah. but I think if we have that propensity to be a little stronger. I mean, I work out every day, but that's for me. I love that, and that's it helps me with my stress level. I think you know? some people are getting mixed signals. You know, this is an era um, women have become more liberated. You know, I'm right. a woman, hear me roar. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know it's, yeah. in, it's in the music. Okay. It's, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's influencing, you know, a lot of women. And uh, we've taken on a lot of roles now that we could not have, you know, when it comes to the workplace. And, and you know, I think that sometimes signals get mixed and women tend to get out of place when it comes to what that role actually requires or, you know, what they're supposed to be or how they're supposed to be, yeah. you know, as a, a woman that is strong. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've told you ladies that I live in a house full of men, yes. Yes. three You're boys, the, ma the male dog, and, yeah. and all of it, you know, and uh, throwing footballs in the house. Yes. And, basketball goal in the kitchen and yeah. so it really has been great to be around all of you you know yeah. and um, well it hasn't rubbed off on you you're not looking like a man oh, let me say. I you're looking I mean, really but, feminine and really nice but I'm pretty. having to work at it you know I mean I'm <laughs> having to uh, like Trudy our, our stylist says you know you got to get your glam on and <laughs> and so um, I'm learning how well, to, I'm growing in that you came in <laughs> yeah as opposed to you right now yeah right and I well, see a big she, transition she's there. Helped. Is, yeah you've well, always been glamorous but well, thank you I also think that's not for everybody. Yeah. Everybody doesn't want to wear the dresses and right. dress yeah. up in pink, and, and they're not sell their favorite color. That's okay. That's okay. But I yeah, do agree absolutely. they don't. You don't have to trend over. I mean, if you're really trying to focus and say I want to compete with the male society, but have we not been forced, in yeah. some ways, to go out and compete with? You know, if we're single moms, mm -hmm. we've got to go out and compete for those incomes to raise our kids. Yeah, that's true too. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you know that women are having to be heads of homes, and it's a, and, that's yeah. unfortunate. It, but um, it's true. Yeah. I think it's a reality, and because so. Of the fatherless society. But I don't right. think yeah. you have to lose mm. being feminine yeah. in that process. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to get lost yeah. in there. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying you have to lose your femininity. Right. You definitely want to maintain your femininity, but definitely. sometimes you have to get you have to suck it up and be strong, yeah. or and do some of those.
those positions that that maybe you have to do for a, a particular reason. Yeah. You know, a situation I'm, that you're Unless in. you're driving a forklift around, you can still dress and <laughs> yeah. be a girl Absolutely. and look like a pretty girl and, yes. and, and not lose well, all you know, I come from seven, a, a, a girl, you know, seven girls in our family. And I, I see the, the fashion for these girls and it's combat boots and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow. Not. I, I, I just. I, oh, I could wear that. I could absolutely, no. and I could, and cowboy boots and blue jeans are my favorite attire. I love being in dresses. I love to go out with my husband okay. and to dress up nice and, you know, and have a date night, which is awesome. But I love to dress down. I like to be in my workout clothes. I, I could wear it all the time. I just do. You I like, like to be comfortable, comfortable, honey. I like being I, I comfortable. Like comfortable. When you wear jeans, just put your earrings on and put the heels on. And yeah, everything. you got it. <laughs> Work it. That's it. Well, sometimes. Well, sometimes. Sometimes. Being comfortable. Yeah. 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 It's, well, you but know, we can get too comfortable, too. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think God does make it clear, you know, that we are, you know, and this offends a lot of women. I'm sorry if it offends, you know, people, but he says we're the weaker vessel. Right. I don't think that means weaker mentally or spiritually, but I think even um, physically some things have been proven, you know, that men have oh, greater course. intake of oxygen and yes. they're stronger and all of that. My goodness. And so I don't think we need to try to be a man. I no. don't think God created us to no. be that. I think he wants us to be feminine and mm -hmm. wants us to we enjoy our... We are. Absolutely. But it's still okay yeah. to be strong. I mean, yeah, I, lift, yeah, I, I lift yeah. weights three times a week, and I love it. It helps yeah. me with my bone density. It of helps in so, with my health. It helps with my stress level, and I, you I do enjoy it. Man, man. I, well, I know that. You're I'm right not going to go there. I feel you're right there. <laughs> but, you know, I just don't think that's complete an issue. You know, I just don't right. think we need to swing one way or the other. I think people need to be comfortable with how God made them. We need to embrace our uniqueness yes. of who we are. Yeah. Being healthy is important. I think as a busy woman, you know, busy women, wearing several hats, doing a lot of things, family, mm -hmm. um, you can lose focus of yourself sometimes, you know, yeah. and, and actually it's a place where I've come recently where I had to start thinking about my health, you know, getting older health. and, health you know, moving a little slower. So, you yeah. know, fitness, you health has become more important mm -hmm. to me. And I think that um, it should be for everyone, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, it should be proactive rather than, uh, you know, going through a situation because you didn't have good health. You well, know what I mean? Well, you know what I mean? And then you, yeah. you're sick and you have to overcome those things as well. Yeah. So I kind of made some decisions, you know, right now I want to just start, you know, getting healthy so yeah, that I don't have to, yeah. you know, encounter a lot of health issues that I would if, it's important. if I don't get it together. Well, I want to go back to one thing, cause, and I know we don't have that a minute here, but I want to go back to the feminine thing with the little girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of that stars. I mean, I know when we, these little girls come into the world, how we're dressing them up in these pretty little dresses. Uh -huh. I know I did my three granddaughters, okay? And the little <laughs> frilly socks how and the little shoes. How much pink have? How much pink Everything. Yeah. Everything's pink. <laughs> but, you know, but I think a lot of it's what you said. Um, once they hit that first day of school, Mm -hmm. And they're the only one in the little frilly dress, and, and all the rest of them have got on their jeans and their tennis yeah. shoes. Well, it does. It does. That peer pressure is a big thing. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to have to take a break, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.